We are at the Thompson Speedway for the 15th race of Season 4 of the SCRL NASCAR Legends Series. The 09 of Paul Hogan will be leading us to the green flag. So beside him is the 40 car of Brian Fox. Here's the starting lineup for today's race. Points leader Christian Russell will be starting in the 13th spot. Of course, all 42 drivers are here for this race. And Season 1 of the HPK won this race. Her car is starting 24th. And Season 2, Orius Centaur won this race. Orius will be starting 17th. And in Season 3, Joseph Curtis won that race. So only Orius, a former winner here at Thompson, is here for this race to try and win a second in his career. 15th race of the season. It's been a fun season so far. We've still got 12 more races to go. We've had last turn, last lap passes. We've had the closest margin of victory in five years. We had wreck fest. We've had dominators. We've had about everything possible you could want in a league season, and it's been very fun and exciting for me as a broadcaster. Hopefully everybody else has enjoyed the races so far, and hopefully the last 12 are even better. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for the pre-race show. And now, those most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Look like anybody's having any problems. So the fourth time ever we are racing here at Thompson. Of course, this is the second of three short treks in a row. Of course, Greenville Pickens, Trevor Collins won that race. We're going to see who wins here at Thompson. Paul Hogan and Brian Fox, row one. Keka White Lion, Carter Friesen, row two. Josh Rush, Rice Rally Tube, row three. And we're racing here at Thompson. And a turn number one. And a turn number two. Down the back stretch for the first time under green conditions. Paul Hogan gets a jump in front of Brian Fox, who closes up. Oh, battle for second. Here comes White Lion. 28 time former race winner takes second spot Brian Fox back to third Joshua Rush going for fourth this would be Joshua's best finish of the season so far in his number 99 entry and look who's right behind him Sammy Savvy Jr. the closer became the first driver to ever sweep a road course event here in the Legends Series with a last turn, last lap pass both times at Riverside. As he continues to battle Joshua Rush for fourth. Sam and Oskin back there trying to pass Carter Friesen. This will be for P7. Excuse me, six. Sammy Zavi Jr. dives down and he will take over the spot. Meanwhile, back up front, White Line is trying to pass Paul Hogan. Paul Hogan looking for his first career win and his 15th career start. White Lion looking for her career leading 28th career win in the entirety of this league. A former six time champion. She dives down, trying to get under Paul Hogan. Not enough. Paul pulls away in turn one and turn two. Down the back stretch. This race is going to go by very fast. We have already completed a quarter of it. Five down, 15 to go. Brian Fox still riding in third. This will be a season best for Brian Fox. 
It's almost been a full entire year since Brian Fox has visited Victory Lane here in the Legends Series. He won at Bristol in season three. Has not won since. The next race we head to Bristol where Brian Fox is the defending race winner. So we'll see if Brian Fox will go a full year without getting a win or if he can win one in the next race. Of course, he could still win this race. Sammy Savage Jr. is closing in. The closer has had so much success in this league in such a short amount of time. He's he he's not a rookie anymore. He's a veteran for sure. But he drives like a legend or a super veteran. He's He's been around quite a lot. Already made a name for himself for sure. The Cat Dog Pro Series East Division champion. Looking for another championship. Already has two wins. He won in his debut for this series at Riverside. Came back later on in the season and won it again. So Semi Sebi Jr. is a road course professional or road course ringer or you could say road course king multiple wins still he has one on the short tracks and we are under caution looks like possibly the 13 Leroy Jones yeah he's got some rear end damage Paul Hogan is our race leader we'll take a look and see what happened to Leroy Jones here's the cause of the caution let's uh, looks like Brian McCason went a little too fast going into turn one let's take a look at it again Leroy Jones trying to pull down in front of Kaysen, but he misjudges. Kaysen unable to prevent himself from slowing down. Makes contact with Leroy Jones. Leroy will slide up the track into Jimmy, no, excuse me, Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle gets damage to the left front of his vehicle. Marco tells it able to avoid, and everybody splits Leroy Jones. So Leroy running in the 34th spot, trying to, he got a run on the high side, but Brian McCason will eventually get a run himself, naturally be on the inside. Leroy thought he had enough room, but the former champion in the Wheelam Euro 2 division misjudged it, and Leroy Jones goes for a spin, then gets hit by Chris Kyle. Well, that's the cause of the caution. We'll take you back to the restart of less than 10 laps to go. And we are back. Six laps to go here. Thompson, no one is out of the race. Still have all 42 cars. Paul Hogan is our race leader. Second is Kaka White Lion. Third, Brian Fox. Fourth, Sammy Savvy Jr. Fifth, Simon Oskin. Sixth, Joshua Rush. Seventh, Carter Friesen. Eighth, Rice Furley Tube. Ninth, Nathan Ordman. And tenth is Simon Fox. Paul Hogan looking for the restart of his career. And he's gone. White Lion held back just a little bit. You notice there's a little gap in between the two cars. We'll see if that will give her an extra boost going into turn one. She's right there. Can she clear? Nope. Battle for fourth. Here comes Simon Oskin. Trying to pass Sammy Sappy Jr. for fourth. Sammy's fighting hard on the outside, though. Sammy maintains fourth, at least for now. Back up front, Paul Hogan has pulled away big time over a white line. As we will have four laps to go next time by. This is Paul Hogan's race to lose at this point. He's got nearly, he actually has over a half second lead over his challengers. Battle for position, here comes Nathan Ordman. Our Charlotte race winner going around Rice Burley Tube. Who is still looking for his first win of this season. Brian Fox is still, ha oh, we got a Jimmy Sampson came off pit road. That's going to slow down our leaders for just a little bit. Right in front of Brian Fox. And that, that helped White Line a whole lot because she is right on his back bumper. Here comes Jimmy Sampson, though, with those fresher tires. We'll see if he gets involved. We've got three laps to go for Paul Hogan. Remember, no green-white checkers in this series. Paul Hogan, still a relative unknown in this league. 
trying to make a name for himself. And how do you do it? By winning your first career race by beating the best this league has ever seen. We got two laps to go. The lead is one second even. Looks like we won't have much of a challenge for this race unless something happens to the 09 car in the next lap and a half. Off the final turn. White line closing in, but it's not going to be enough. White flag one lap to go for Paul Hogan. White line's trying to make a race out of it, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And to turn two, down the backstretch for the final time. And to turn three, she dives it on in there, but she's not close enough for a bump. Paul Hogan goes way wide. Oh! And Paul Hogan's going to score his first win here at Thompson. He almost lost it off the final turn. But he hangs on for his first career win. Here are your results. Paul Hogan hangs on for his first career win. Second is Kaka White Lion. Third, Brian Fox. Fourth, Sammy Sappy Jr. Fifth, Sam and Oskin. Sixth, Joshua Rush. Seventh, Rice Burley Tube. Eighth, Carter Friesen. Ninth, Derek Edison. And tenth is Cassie Dent. Kristen Russell, our points leader, finished in the 13th spot. Best your race results. We had 41 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Only one driver was one lap down. That was the double zero of Jimmy Sampson. Well, that is it for the 15th race of the season here at Thompson. We will take you to victory lane for the very first time with Paul Hogan. Here are the points. Stan is after the 15th race of the season at Thompson. Kristen Russell is still our points leader. He has an 85-point lead over Carter Friesen. Third is Cam Nixie, 92 points behind. Fourth, Riley Spurley, 97 points behind. And fifth is Cassie Dent, 105 points behind. Sixth is Simon Fox. Seventh, TJ Dent. Eighth, Al Legacy. Ninth, Leroy Jones. And tenth is Bob Joseph. Eleventh is Sammy Savvy Jr. Twelfth, Josh Nixie. Thirteenth, Eddie Wacumbi. Fourteenth, Sebastian Torres. Fifteenth, Keka Watline. Sixteenth, Jack Legacy. Seventeenth, Nathan Ordman. Eighteenth, Silas Nixie. Nineteenth, Ty Dent. And twentieth, Zachary Fitzwater. Twenty-first, Muhammad Zain Abdullah. Twenty-second, Sam and Oskin. Twenty-third, Jimmy Sampson. Twenty-fourth, Paul Hogan. Our Thompson race winner gained four spots. Twenty-fifth, Dale Jones. Twenty-sixth, Mitchell Collins. Twenty-seventh, Brian McCason. Twenty-eighth, Cole Nixie. Twenty-ninth, Trevor Collins. And thirtieth is Carter Joey. 31st, Brock Beard, 32nd, A.J. Jones, 33rd, Chris Kyle, 34th, Ori Centaur, 35th, Logan Bucart, 36th, Dillian Ibrahimen, 37th, Marco Telzit, 38th, Brian Fox, 39th, Derek Edison, and 40th is Ryan Rush. 41st, Adam McDowell, and last in points is still Joshua Rush. That is your point standards at the 15th race of the season at Thompson. We'll next see you at the 16th race of the season at the Bristol International Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.